All right, before we start this review, I have a confession to make. I'm not a watch person. I've never found the need of watches when I could easily just pull out my phone and look at the time. When I look at how people talk about watches and how companies market a watch, it's not really a device for you to tell the time. It's more like an accessory. And it just boggles my mind to know that people pay hundreds and even thousands of dollars on an accessory. Yes, you could say that phones are thousands of dollars as well, but at least it encapsulates your entire life into what is essentially a rectangle break. So I think it's fair to ask that watches can do the same thing, but perhaps on a more limited scale. Yes, yes you can with the Huawei Watch 3 Pro, but of course on a more limited scale. Huawei has marketed this watch as a premium device and it does hold true when looking at its design. It has a titanium frame which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, look at me talking about watches being gorgeous. There are two buttons on the watch. The first being the crown which when pressed will show you the apps installed in the watch and the second button is a shortcut key which you can remap but it is defaulted to show you the fitness functions. The model that I have comes with a leather strap which I honestly prefer over the chain strap but of course you can change it if you want. Finally, the screen. It is a 1.43 inch AMOLED display which is really vibrant and bright so you're not going to have a problem checking the time or even the status of your workout in the daylight. However, I personally think that the watch face is rather large and it is quite heavy and you're definitely going to feel that weight when you're wearing this watch. You can get used to the weight, but I highly recommend that you try out the watch if you're planning to buy it. So there is a lot, and I mean a lot of features in this watch. You got your basic functions like heart rate monitor, weather forecast, and fitness tracking, which is broken down into hiking, running, and even indoor activities. The watch is also waterproof, up to 5 ATM, so you can go for a swim or even take a shower with it if you want to. It is also powered by Huawei's Harmony OS which looks a lot better than all the other smartwatch interfaces out there with its pleasing animations and its neat arrangement of information. The one thing that I really like about this watch is its ability to stand alone without your phone. It supports eSIM which basically imprints a digital version of your physical SIM card into the watch so you could let's say go out on a run while leaving your phone at home and you can even check your messages and answer calls directly from the watch. Yes, the watch does have speakers and they are pretty loud but when answering calls, the volume of the speakers are reduced drastically and I think that that's just a privacy feature because obviously you don't want the entire world to know that your mom needs you to buy some milk and eggs on your way home. So obviously there is that concern that when you're swimming or even just stuck in a rain that water would get into the speakers. Similar to the Apple Watch, there is a drain feature where the watch will play a sound to vibrate the water out of the watch and all you have to do is just shake the watch to get any excess water out. There is also a SpO2 feature which supposedly reads your blood oxygen levels but I'm not a doctor, I just play with tech products for a living. But usually you would use what it's called a pulse oximeter which is a device that is placed on your fingertip and it will admit light to read your blood oxygen levels. How accurate will you get that reading from your wrist? I'm not too sure but at least it will give you a rough estimate. Other than that, you have a lot of customizability options like changing the watch face, adding more tracking features to the home screen and downloading apps from the Huawei store. But don't expect to find apps like WhatsApp and Spotify. Battery is rather decent. With all the functionality on, I'm getting around 4.5 days of usage. Huawei has mentioned that it has a low power mode which basically disables a lot of the features to give you up to 21 days of battery life. It uses a wireless charger to charge but it is rather slow. It would take 3 hours to get a full charge but it does support reverse wireless charging. So if you have a phone that supports that feature, you could charge the watch that way as well. So would a person like me who doesn't like watches get the Huawei Watch 3 Pro? Well, at this time, I would say no because it doesn't really support a lot of the apps that I use in the App Store. But for those of you who are fitness freaks, you might find some value here with the wide range of fitness activities it supports. 
and with the addition of its nice and premium look although it may be big if you plan to accessorize yourself with a watch then yes i do think it's worth getting but it comes in at 2199 ringgit which if you think about it there are some watches out there at this price range and if you plan to buy yourself an analog watch at that price range just get the huawei watch 3 pro because at the end of the day it still can do more than just tell the time but let me know what you think about the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. And for those of you who don't like watches, let me know if this would change your mind and you would get yourself a smart watch. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.